Hello everybody, this is Ginger Sim, and today we are going to do a tutorial video for the new game Sim Airport. If you've been watching my channel on YouTube, you've probably noticed that I have a couple gameplay videos at this point, but I haven't really explained what you need to get your airport running. So let's start a new game here. Um, career mode and sandbox mode. Sandbox mode allows you to spend negative amounts of money, where career mode, when you go less than zero, you can no longer build new items. So for right now, we'll keep it in career mode. Uh, map size medium, that's the smallest map at this point. And start from scratch. We'll leave that off because we kind of want to look at gameplay mechanics at this point, and not really airport construction. So let's start a new game and we'll pause. So when you start a new game you basically have the facilities you need to get an airport running. You have your runway, your taxiways, your airplane gate, you have your pickup and drop-off zones, ticketing, baggage claim, security, and restrooms. Now, these zones are set right now, but they're not necessarily in the best places. But we'll ignore that for now and just take a look at how each zone functions. So when passengers are first dropped off at your airport, they'll be let off their vehicles in the drop-off zone. They'll enter the airport and go straight to the ticketing zone. In the ticketing zone, you have ticketing desks with each one being manned by one staff person and you also have the option for a ticketing kiosk. The ticketing kiosk is self-serve. Um, no staff members are necessary. However, for the ticketing kiosks you are not able to assign queues to have your passengers line up. Whereas with the ticketing desk, you are able to assign a queue. Now with the ticketing desks, you can have multiple desks per queue. Which I think is helpful. Usually what I do is I build one long line and assign two or three desks to it. And I haven't figured out for sure if that gets passengers through more quickly than having a queue for each desk. Um, but it does seem to, because what that does is it prevents all of your passengers from just going to one desk and not going to the second one or the third one. And so if you put your passengers into one large line and assign three desks to it, it seems to move them through quicker. From ticketing, your passengers can go to the restroom or they can move to security. When they move to security, they will start at the ID check stand. From the ID check stand, they'll move to the bag scanner, followed by the metal detector. Now, the way they have this set up now, um, I'm not sure if they fixed it at this point, but the metal detector was actually facing in the wrong direction. So passengers would go to the bag scanner, they'd look like they'd walk through the metal detector but wouldn't actually use it, then come back through and then pass through one more time. So what I do is I typically destroy this metal detector and you can either wait for it to be destroyed or you can just purchase another one. Now on the metal detector here you can see there's a red light and a green light. It, when you rotate the ob object, the lights are hard to see, but right now they're on the left-hand side, and you can see at the top corner, the top left corner, that the object is slightly rounded on that left side right now. So when you rotate it, you'll see that the rounded edge is now on the right. So when you place that now, the passengers will more smoothly move through from the check stand through the bag scanner, well, the passengers themselves won't go through the bag scanner, 
and then they'll move through the metal detector with this one being removed. Now each of these does require a security staff member who will go and man their position unless they disappear like they just did. Hmm. Okay, maybe that's a bug. Moving on anyway, once passengers clear security they will again have the option to use a restroom or they will move towards seating if you have it available. If it's close enough to their flight time, they will join the queue for their flight. Once they're in the terminal, you have the airplane gate where the planes will move to. Once parked, the passengers on the plane will disembark and either use a restroom or proceed to baggage claim or leave the airport. The gate agent desk is assigned specifically to the gate. It also can be assigned to a queue. So this queue is now tied to this desk, which checks in passengers for this gate. What I've noticed is it's much faster to assign multiple gate agent desks to each gate. The time given right now for passengers to board the plane is not enough to keep your planes on schedule. And if it's a large plane, it's nowhere near enough to keep your flights on schedule. So I typically have three to four gate agent desks per gate. As far as basics for the game, that is all you need for a functioning airport. A ticketing zone with places for passengers to check in, whether it's at a staffed ticketing desk or a ticketing kiosk. You need your three items in the security zone, the ID check desk, the bag scanner, and the metal detector. And you need a gate agent desk at the gate. It doesn't hurt to install the baggage carousel. Now, without the baggage conveyor line or the baggage routing station installed and functioning right now, baggage items will move from the plane to the baggage carousel via golf cart. To get baggage onto the plane, it will be collected at the ticketing desk picked up by a golf cart and moved to the plane. That's about the least efficient way you can do it. But since the conveyor system isn't set up yet, that's the minimum you need to have a functioning airport. Check out my other gameplay videos for Sim Airport to see um, what happens once you start scheduling flights and passengers. And we will have a part three gameplay video for Sim Airport coming out this afternoon. Follow us on Twitter at Ginger Sim Gaming. Give us a like on this video on YouTube and subscribe to our channel.